It has been over 24 hours since the Attack on Titan final. I just want to get my thoughts on it. I've collected myself now. I'm not going to start watering my eyes and stuff like crazy. Oh, I'm going to try to do these fucking... Uh, maybe, maybe, maybe I will. Who knows? I just want to talk about it real quick. I'm not going to try to make this video super, super long. See, I'm going to talk about spoilers. I mean, why would you even fucking watch this video in the first place? I'll easily do this slowly. Um, I did not know what the ending is. I, I was one of those people that was lucky enough not to get spoiled and, and stuff like that. And I'm... Kind of glad I didn't, because if I did that, <laughs> oh man, I'm glad I got to experience that shit for the first time, man. It was, it was amazing. Um, and I, I honestly, I was going into it with kind of, I want to say low expectations, but a bit of worrisome. Because I'll be with you guys, if I actually, if the ending was like really asked to me, oh, let's just say it was something else, like everybody thinks it's like dog shit. Let's just say like everybody dies or some shit. <laughs> I everybody just dies like after the rumbling, but that like that would be dog shit. Like, that to me would be horrible. It honestly would kind of ruin the show a little bit for me. It like if the ending was like horrible or something like that. But that's not what happened. The ending was amazing. If you asked me what multiple different endings I think it could have been, I would not have said what it was. And I think everybody could agree on that. There's no way no one guessed guessed that. How can you guess that? I watched a video breaking down the whole final and I got a lot more info now. Um, I don't remember some of the things, but it was three years later when McCoss was at the tree when they were in that boat, which I, I didn't know, but by the way, I thought it was like the same year. Um, I haven't read the, the manga yet because I know there's like a lot of changes and stuff that are in the manga. I mean, that they made with like with the um the show that's not in it and stuff like that. That, that, that was in the manga that's not in the show. And things that's in the show that's not in the manga. And I, and I will be, it wasn't anything I wanted. I actually wanted a happy ending. And and I, I know a happy ruin, and happy ruin, and happy ending would ruin would would ruin the show for some people, but honestly, not for me. I I, I would have, and honestly, I feel like the maybe reason why I wanted a happy ending is because I I, I would have been calm and gone over the ending way earlier than I did way earlier. It's just it's like it's over, you know. It's weird. It doesn't feel real. <laughs> it it doesn't feel real. It really does not feel real. Knowing that like Attack on Titan's over. Um, yeah, apparently there was like some um some spinoff thing. I don't know how new or old this is, but I know it's made by Isayama. They're like in fucking high school. And like Mikasa's like emo. Aaron looks the same. Armin has like glasses or some shit. <laughs> like, <laughs> I, I didn't watch it. I just I wouldn't watch it. I didn't read it. It's like a manga. I just saw images. It was fucking funny. <laughs> honestly, they could animate that because. Honestly, man, I, I would love for them to, to like just do like some sequel thing or like show us or give us like a little mini series off, off of that person in the end. But that was wearing Mikasa's scarf. And apparently, that's a woman, by the way, not not a boy. From the video I watched, or I I, I, I have no clue. I know I know most people are probably like just let it end, just just, just let it end. And I, I'm kind of like that, but it's like I want more. You know, I, I don't I, I need I need I I need more. <laughs> I I want more. And as much as I I feel like I'm suffering a little bit when we're watching episodes, is how fucking good it is. I still want more. I I, I just it's I don't know. It's it's weird, man. I just. I, well, they could, bro, they could literally just give us a series of, like, what happens between those years. Like, when they were showing that whole stop motion thing, when they were having canes and shit, wheelchairs. John got Mikasa. It's like, they could have a whole series on that. Like, I, I would love that. I know there wouldn't be, like, no action at all, but I don't watch Attack on Titan for action. I watch for storytelling. Obviously, I love action. But that's not, that's not why I, I like Attack on Titan, not for the action. It's for the storytelling. And I mean, it's everything, but it's, that's the main thing for me. That's the main reason why I like it, why I think it's the best, why I think it's perfect. I don't know what people are talking about with the ending being bad. How? I, I just don't get it. It's probably because it's just not what they wanted, but it's not what I wanted, but I fucking still love it. But it fits Attack on Titan perfectly. It fits it. It fits it, man. Isayama's a fucking... Legend and it kind of makes me it kind of makes me want to like know like what other stuff he's made unless like that's the only good piece of work He's made and everything else is just trash or something <laughs> It's just, just one just just one good manga one, one one good anime anyways into the final um There was multiple key things for me that I really liked now. I do have criticism. Obviously. It wasn't like I liked every there was no one there, there was some criticism not, nothing that was like bad and awful to me there's, there's nothing bad and awful and attack on time to me in general there's none of that but um you know i guess i'll guess i can get into the criticism now 
some things did feel a little bit rushed. I, I won't lie. Um, some things did feel a little bit rushed. I remember seeing an image on 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 Twitter of like something. I'm guessing I was in the manga. And Levi was in like a wheelchair. It looked like that, like the London fucking clock tower in the background. And I think it was like Lenny or Onion Capone or however you say his name. Holt with, with him and with Gabby and stuff. So I guess he's with them. They were and they were like talking and stuff. Like I, they they should have added that in the anime. They were like I feel like there was like small things. I feel like they should have added that on in there. But maybe if they're not in the manga, then I I guess it's fair. That's my only. That's kind of my only criticism. I guess. Animation was amazing. Um, I mean, fucking Mappa. Of course, they need to sleep still. They haven't gone to bed. They need, they need to go. They need to. But there's three scenes to me. No, four scenes to me that that really, really stood out to me. I'm not gonna go in any order from like when they were in the episode. The cabin scene, the whole sequence with Aaron and Armin from like when they were at the dock, when they were little, all the way up to where they were at now. That was fucking amazing, man. That was amazing. Um, the very end part with like Mikasa at the tree and stuff like that. Three years later when she was sitting down and I think she was waiting for everybody to come visit his grave and stuff. And that whole seek and then the whole sequence in the bottom. The whole I, I rewatched that sequence in, in the bottom multiple times. And at the very end, with the credits, all those pictures going through the little time skipping travel bullshit owl thing was knowing that it's attack on Titan. Seeing like alien fucking buildings and just cars and, and shit in general. It's just that to me is unbelievable. Knowing that the tree is still a thing. The grave is still there. Where did Mikasa get buried by the way? I don't I don't know. Did she get buried right next to him? Where is her grave at? The, the, is her grave just fucking blown up? <laughs> but the one reason why that whole Armin and Aaron scene stands out to me. I saw people making fun of it with like the faces and stuff. I think it was funny too honestly. The, the faces they were making. But the one thing that stands out to me. In that scene is Aaron has always been Aaron this whole time. He never changed. That whole dickhead, soulless, cold, like no hearted way he, he was talking and stuff, that was all an act. And I kinda knew I kinda knew that. I kind of I kinda figured it out. But for the people that didn't, it was a fucking perfect reveal. It was fucking amazing. They hug after oh fucking hell, man. <laughs> You just, you just like, you see a clip of Aaron beating the shit out of Armin, throwing him, kneeing him, and, and shit like that. I don't even know if he did him. I don't know. He threw him around and stuff like that. To them, like, hugging, like, him saying that he, he didn't want to die and, and stuff like that. Revealing the truth of what he really thinks about Mikasa and stuff like that. And, um, I mean, yeah, it all came down to, and they were face-to-face -face that one time. It was, it was either what happened, like what we actually had. Mikasa is just saying that, that he's family or Mikasa actually telling him the truth. That's all it came down to. But if Mikasa told him the truth, I mean, everybody dies but them. Like Armin probably dies. Like Marley is the one that's doing the rumbling pretty much and stuff like that. And then yeah, Mikasa chose the right thing, man. I mean, if you really think about it, I feel like Mikasa cares about Armin as much as Aaron. She just cares about Aaron in a different matter. You know what I mean? I was never one of those people that wanted them to, like, fucking kiss and, and make and have fucking kids and stuff. And it is, even though they're not blood, it's just kind of weird that they're, like, they're, they were pretty much stepbrother and stepsister and stuff like that. I never, I was always one of those people. And I feel like most people are like that, that was just wanting them to just be, like, really good friends and stuff like that. Not fucking... I, I didn't want I didn't want Aaron and Mikasa at the at the, like I don't want the ending to be them fucking and having a kid and the fuck yeah, <laughs> yeah that, that was that was that was amazing uh, the whole scene with that um I kind of wish we got more of them three years later which is why I felt a little bit rushed oh, what else is there um my favorite fight oh yeah but it's, it's obvious the fucking colossal titan versus colossal titan Aaron's colossal titan versus Armin's that was woo wasn't that long but. That was, that animation was absolutely ridiculous. So we, I mean, we literally saw like every single Titan as well. Like every single Titan in the anime we've seen in that entire, we, we saw Berthel, Blowjob, whatever you want to call him. Um, Grisha's, um, Mir is there. I think that's how you say her name. Her name's like very similar to Yamir. I, I don't know. She was there. Yeah, I mean, yeah, we literally saw every single Titan. Every single time, man. Even Titans that I haven't seen before, like the different, um, or what's it called, the uh, different Warhammer Titans, um, uh, some shit like that. Um, 
I still don't fully understand how Aaron had the ability to do that. I think like Ymir gave it to him and stuff like that. And now Aaron's the new Ymir. So I'm, I'm guessing that kid walking into the tree is Aaron or something. I I, I, I don't know. Like 2000, I'm guessing every 2000 years, the same thing happens just in a different way with different people, different story. And then obviously Aaron wanted Mikasa to be the one to to kill him because he knew if it wasn't Mikasa, and pretty much not even just because it's like his friends in general because he knew if it wasn't them, they would be under attack and just, yeah, I mean, it's... Mm. Yeah, I would love like a, some sequel or like Attack on Time 2 type of thing. I don't think it's going to happen though. I don't even know how you could do that. Like, how could you do that? What would they do? What would they do? I, I, I actually don't know what they would do. I don't know. Yeah. I mean, I, I guess they could do give us like multiple different like, endings, like different, different ways it can end. Multiple different things in like one episode, more OEDs and stuff like that. But yeah, I don't know. I mean, it's like, dude, every time I go on like just YouTube, there is an Attack on Titan video, like a reaction or like a breakdown or someone sending anything shit with like a shit opinion. Oh yeah, it's been a shit opinion. I literally saw like one of the worst like like reactions to the ending ever. This guy hated it because he said that Mikasa and Armin and everybody should have died with Aaron at the rumbling. And everybody just dies and then like has like a dark ending. That's he said the ending was bad because that didn't happen. That makes absolutely no sense. It's like you didn't even pay attention to the story. You just watched it for action and death. That's literally it. I don't even need to explain to you why that doesn't make sense. Because if, if you know what I'm talking about, you know what I'm talking about. I don't need to explain to you why that doesn't make sense. What's the, <laughs> what's the point of what is the point of Aaron's goals if everybody's gonna die at the end? His goal was to really make sure they're they're alive and live peacefully in freedom for the rest of their lives. Why would, why would they, why, why would you see, I would just kill everybody. What's the point? What's that? Would, that would be, that would be dog shit. And that's why they had the whole sequence at the end showing like them getting canes and being fucking old. Cause we know, so we know that they lived their lives. So, to a full extent and is dying of old age. It was cool seeing like the different versions of Aaron and, and Armin and stuff like that. Did we see any different versions of Mikasa? I mean, we saw, we saw the long hair one, but I'm talking about like younger versions. I don't, I don't think we did. Um, that was cool seeing Aaron with the, the shorter hair and stuff like that. Um, that was that was really cool, man. It's the different versions of each character. That was cool knowing that Aaron talked to everybody as well. I kind of I kind of wonder what that would have been like. Did he talk to Levi? I'm guessing he did too. Yeah, I, I, I don't know. Us seeing all the the dead scouts, Sasha smiling, doing this. Oh man. One thing I'm actually very surprised about though is that the Call of the Silence OST did not play. I'm am very surprised. I'm very surprised that OST did not play. That's like one of the most popular OSTs in the entire show. I'm very surprised it didn't play. I mean, where would he have even played? I guess at the very end part with when Mikasa was going, unless it did play, and I'm just not remembering. But I don't. I don't, I don't need to play it. The um, oh, he, oh, he, he, oh, that one played. That was that was fucking amazing. You know, yeah. That's it, man. At least I'm not gonna make this video long. And it ended up being 17 minutes. Maybe I'll edit it. I I don't know. I have things I need to do. I'm about to play some games with some people. And um, yeah, that's it. Take care. Peace.